Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve the problem maximum difference you can get from changing an integer. The problem description says that you are given an integer nums. You will apply the following steps exactly two times. Pick a digit x between 0 and 9. Pick another digit y between 0 and 9. x can also be equals to y. Replace all the occurrences of x in the decimal representation of nums by y. The new integer cannot have any leading zeros. Also, the new integer cannot be zero. Let a and b be the result of applying the operations to num the first and second time respectively. Return the maximum difference between a and b. For example, let us have num is equals to triple five. In the first step, we are taking x is equals to five and y is equals to one, and replacing x with y, we will be getting triple one. Repeating the process, we are again taking as x is equals to five and y is equals to nine, and we will be getting triple nine. The difference between a and b is equals to triple eight. So this way we will be maximizing the difference. Let us see how to approach this problem. All right. So we got the hint that the number one should be as minimum as possible, and another number should be as maximum as possible. So we will be having the maximum difference. Now, how to make a number minimum or maximum by replacing the digit? So we can do this by selecting the most significant bit of that number. So if we replace this by nine, we will be getting nine nine eight zero, and this is the maximum possible that we can get by replacing the most significant bit. Similarly, if we replace this by zero, we will be getting zero zero two four, which is the least number which we can get. But we know that zeros are not allowed, so we will look at how to handle these situations in which we will be getting leading zeros. So for that, let us look at the example. To make this number maximum. The only thing which we have to do is just find the first number which is not equals to nine, and replace that number, the occurrences of that number in the entire representation of this number by nine. So the first number which is not equals to nine is this one, and this is the most significant. So the largest number will be nine nine zero nine zero five seven. So this is the maximum number which we can get. So there is no corner case. in this one but we will have to deal with the corner cases while we are going to make this number the smallest so first we will look at the zeroth position in the zeroth position we will see that if that number is not equals to 1 so if the most significant number is not equals to 1 we will be making that number as 1 and all the occurrences of that number in this representation as 1 why we are doing this because we cannot have leading zeros here if we have one in the first position so we cannot do anything we will be looking from the second position and we will look till the end and we will try to find the most significant number which is not equals to 1 and which is not equals to 0 why we are doing this because we allow one here so in that case suppose let's say we allowed one so we will be replacing the one at the zeroth position also so we will end up having uh, the initial zeros which are not allowed in the problem next if we allow zero so if we allow zero here and replace that with zero so we will be doing nothing but we will be getting the same number back again so we will avoid both of them and we will look a number which is not equals to 1 and which is not equals to 0 and the most significant number is 5 so we will be replacing this 5 with 0 so the smallest number is 1 1 0 1 0 0 7 now this is the minimum number which we get and this is the maximum number so the difference between them will give us our required answer so let us look at the code for this here's the code what we are doing is uh, we are having two strings actually we are converting this number to a string the reason is We, it is easy to work on strings if we uh, we do not have to look at each decimal position by using a while loop so we will simply make convert this into a string and it will be easy to operate then two characters x and y first we will try to minimize this number <clears throat> in order to minimize this number we will look at the zeroth position as i discussed and if the zeroth position is 1 then we will be looking from the first position till the end and we will find a number which is not equals to 0 and which is not equals to 1 then we will 
apply the operation of replacing x with y, uh, y and die string and this way we will be getting our first string we will repeat the process we will try finding the most significant number which is not equals to 9 and then replace that number with 9 in the entire string now we will convert these using this toy function into uh, integers and then return the difference so this way we will be able to solve this problem in big o of n also we are using the extra space which is big o of n so we can do this without using extra space but eventually we are creating two numbers actually we are only having uh, num is equals to 10 to the power 8 so at most 8 positions are there so extra space is also big o of 1 because it is big o of 8 so eventually it is big o of 1